so now we're going to create a domain users their server so uh, just click start here and then go again to this administrative tools click that one and select this active directory users in computers select that one and you select new itong domain name and then here you can add an organizational uh, unit here if you want so if i'm going to add just right click on it and then go to this new and select this organ organizational unit so let me say it department yan yan so after that click ok and then here we're going to put another user so right click again I think that is wrong spelling so I'm going to just um, rename that you rename that one remove that extra letter T that one and then I'm going to add a user here right click again here and then go to the new and select this user so I'm going to name it the Layla and then user login name Layla and then that's all just click next if this um, for text box here is already filled click next and then create the password so it will say one two three four and then one two three four so um, change this one to password never expired so that the user um, <coughs> could not uh, change the password that you set so select that one just click OK in there then click next here finish we cannot set the password because the password requires check OK so we're going to change this one into longer password, a combination password. Just like that. So, uh, change the password into combination. Click next, finish, and there. So, um, next thing we need to do here is um, we need to check this the user. Uh, if uh, this um, cl uh, this um, domain user can log on to our uh, domain so let me just uh, go to my Windows 7 or client and then log off this uh, account oops that. and then um, switch user and then use this other user and then there uh, we put the domain user that we created here the username is Layla Layla, uh, the password, and then hit enter in there. And the user, the domain user already can log on to the client. So did they just let just wait there? So there. This is the account of Layla, the the, the domain user of. Of the organization, organizational department, IT department, this one. So if I'm going to create another user here again, just click um, this one, add new, and then user. So now, uh, Tigrel uh, Mia, and then username log on Mia. Next password uh, change that one into never expires click ok and then click next finish and there it's already created so if I'm going to log off again this account and log in the uh, me account that we created so I'm going to click this other user 
So if I'm going to type here Mia and put the password there, but the password is incorrect. But so I'm going to retype it again. Oh no! There. Uh, the domain user can already uh, log into the client. So there. Mia, there. So now, uh, next thing we need to do here is we're going to create a home folder and and share it to the um, client. So we're going to create a, a new folder here, home folder in this uh, server to the desktop, and then name it home folder. So just like that, and we're going to share this one to the client. So click the folder, right click on it click the properties and then go to this sharing advanced sharing and then sh click this box to check and then um, click the permission and then remove this everyone we're going to remove that one and then add so here type domain users and then check names so there, uh, click OK, and then check for control, apply, OK, apply, OK, and then we're going to copy this one, this path, and copy that one with, because we're going to need that one later, and then <coughs> go again to your administrative tool, click start, administrative tool, and this one active directory in users computers and then go to let me say we share it on Mia account click Mia account right click on it click properties go to the profile um, select the disconnect click that one and then paste the path here just like that and then um, forward slash I'm sorry forward slash percent user name percent and then click apply click ok so there so close that one we open this one if there the folder of me is already created here so if we're going to our client we should see a home folder a folder here to our client Click that one, go to the computer, but uh, we need to re restart this one. Restart, click yes. select this Mia Mia and then we're going to put the password of Mia and then enter go to the folders computer and there uh, this um, home folder is already shared to the client this one from the server so if I'm going to add a file here so as you can see if I'm going to open this one it's a uh, blank so if I'm going to add here in the a client a folder I'm going to add a new folder here I a new uh, text document let me say um, there it's already also added to the server uh, I'm just name it um, Mia files Mia files sorry just like that so there's also um, rename here at the server. So if I'm going to add the files here, um, uh, hi, this is Mia from client PC. I'm going to save this one. Save. So we should see this text also in the server P.
PC, uh, server machine so if I'm going to open this one there it's already included so if I'm going to also add here hi Mia uh, solve this problem okay so one plus plus one is equals to I'm going to save save that one close this one and re reopen and there so if I'm going to solve this one is equals to two just click save and then close this one and reopen and there there's the answer so that's how you can uh, create a show, uh, home folder and share it to the um, client thing we need to do is we're going to set the disk quota uh, from uh, from the server so uh, how to limit the storage of the domain user so how to do that just go to the Windows Explorer where this home folder is saved so I'm going to click this one and then go to the computer and then select this local disk C right click right click on it click the properties go to the quota select this quota check this uh, uh, checkbox also that one and then here we add the domain user so then do, the domain user the name of this uh, user is Mia so if I'm going to add that one just uh, click this and then type here Mia oops Mia and then make sure you check names so there it's so already checked and then click OK so there you, you can now limit the, the disk space that this uh, domain user can use so I've, I'm, I would like to uh, limit into 10 um, 10 gigabytes so if the set warning is 9 gigabytes so click OK and and then after that just closed apply okay okay and then it's all done